Uh, I just love life. So, uh, for the past, like, uh, is that song? On Friday, it'll be a week. I've been pretty much immobile. Uh, I am having a really bad flare of. I'm not sure if it's asthma because it's not responding to my usual asthma meds. 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 What? Uh, it's not been responding to my normal asthma meds very well. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it is because of that. We went to the doctor's on Monday. My mom woke up really early and made an appointment and got we got us squished in to see a nurse practitioner. But uh, some of the things she said make me think she didn't really know what she was talking about uh, when it came to asthma. Uh, and she also didn't... She kind of disregarded some of my other symptoms, which I felt are rather important. <laughs> uh... I've been feeling exhausted, like, I get my, uh, regular about eight hours of sleep, and I wake up feeling if tired, if not more tired than when I went to sleep. Uh, I've been very weak in my lower legs, and, uh, couple, couple that with my asthma meds, and I basically am trying to avoid moving around the house because I really can't. I stand up, and I feel like... I'm going to pass out, so I have not been moving much. I haven't been able to move much. It's awesome. But uh, back to the nurse practitioner that I had to see instead of our usual doctor. Uh, when I have had asthma attacks in the past, when it gets, I go from zero to a hundred. So most people wheeze. There's an in-between stage where people are wheezing because they can't breathe. I don't wheeze, and she's like, "Well, I don't hear you wheezing," and I'm like. Well, you see, I have never wheezed. Not once. When I was little, I was either breathing or I was not breathing. There was, like, no in-between. So, when people say, well, I don't hear you wheezing, so it's probably not asthma, or it's not as bad as you think it is, I'm like, well, I could be, like, I could be have getting, like, about 50% of the oxygen that I'm supposed to be getting. 40%, 30%. But you wouldn't be able to tell just because I'm not wheezing. I, if it's really bad, there's almost an absence of sound in my chest. People are like, I can hear ear coming in. I'm just like, yes, you can hear ear coming in. It doesn't sound like I'm struggling, but I am. And it doesn't sound like there's problems getting air in, but I am, because I don't wheeze. So when people say, well, I don't hear you wheezing, so you're probably not having an asthma attack, I'm like, <laughs> Well, uh, you're wrong. Uh, I don't wheeze, and I probably am having an asthma attack. So, thanks, but no. Like, the only people who have ever been able to properly diagnose when I'm having an asthma attack are, or, well, I'm having trouble with my asthma, maybe not an immediate asthma attack, but I'm having a chronic flare-up, uh, is my, uh, allergist who deals with asthma and stuff anything like that, so she's pretty good with my asthma, uh, my normal doctor, doctor, I'm not gonna give her a name, actually, uh, my normal doctor, she is, she understands my whole I don't wheeze thing, uh, and people, doctors I've seen in the ER, I've seen a couple of doctors in the ER because over the years I've had to go there a lot for my asthma because sometimes at night it just flares up and it won't respond to any of my meds, so I need to go in and have a steroid, like, emergency steroid IV, and, uh, my emergency doctors have almost always accurately diagnosed that it was my asthma and that I don't wheeze. Uh, we once had a doctor say, you're so tight, you, you're not wheezing. There's almost an absence of noise, like I said earlier. I don't wheeze. I have an absence of noise sometimes, but I don't wheeze. So, uh... That's, you know, fun. But, uh, along with my other, uh, whatever else is causing the major weakness... Hi. Uh, I have not been able to move much. Like, it makes me winded just to do this, and it makes me winded just to go to the kitchen and back. So I'm basic, basically just been sitting around for a couple days and I feel 
crazy. I like to be able to get up and move around, or I don't even have to be getting up and moving around. I just want to be able to. I just want to be able to do something with my hands. I want to be able to go outside and do things with my hands. Like I like, I'm a busybody, and I like to be out doing things. So this immobility is kind of annoying. And I've dealt with it before. I dealt with it last year around, you know, it was two years ago, around the same time. Uh, that time it was because of the mono, and it was making me very similar to what I'm experiencing now, which is why I thought, told the doctor, I thought it was kind of mono. Because when I get it, I get really bad, and I get really bad pots. But, uh, it, she just kind of disregarded it. And I, the nurse practitioner did say she wanted us to go to my, go have some pulmonary testing done, which I have done every time I go to my allergist, because she te likes to test my asthma every time they're there for updates because I have a tendency not to take my uh, everyday meds for my asthma because I drives me nuts but I need to take them but I have a tendency not to take them so she likes to test me to see how my lung function is improving because it has been improving over the past couple of years so that's good but that being said I'm here and I'm stuck so hopefully I will see some improvement soon. And I'm gonna stop talking because it is getting extremely hard to breathe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all in the terms of updates. Also, wait, wait, I don't have it with me and I'm not going to get it right now because that's too much effort, but we got Bear, a new pinch collar, and it works well. And it doesn't slide, so I don't have to hold it up all the time. <laughs> Uh, he seems to enjoy it, and I'm definitely enjoying the part of me not having to hold it up all the time, although I, if I have it, I still hold the chain. So, I don't know what's going on with that. I just need to stop doing that. But yeah, so, that's about as far as goes for updates, and I can't breathe. <laughs> but, uh, just hopefully we'll get some more help from the doctor next time we go in. And I can see my actual doctor instead of the nurse practitioner, because she very clearly does not normally deal with asthma, and has definitely never dealt with my asthma. I don't think she really read my history, so it is what it is. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching.